All right, autocross season starts tomorrow. I have four new 6UL uh, 15 by eight wheels from 949 Racing. Um, I bought these from Flying Miata because they will mount RE71Rs to them and ship them to you mounted, balanced, ready to go. Um, so this is going to be 205 50R15s all the way around. Um, stock spiders are a bit staggered and it is starting to rain, which is kind of inconvenient because I need to get these things mounted. This is pretty cool. Electric impact wrench. Let's see if it's got the strength to actually break the wheels loose. It definitely does. All right, I didn't want to break it that loose. Just got to jack the car up. Just wanted to loosen it a little bit. All right, these are a bit old and beat up, but let's do a comparison. The backs are already 205s, but they're on six and a half inch rims. These old Rotas. These are also two and a five, or 205s, but they're on eight inch rims. So you can actually tell a pretty decent difference in size. Same with the tire. Man, I really like the color of these over the color of those. These are supposed to be temporary anyway, but that plastic dip's held up okay. I'll clean it up and maybe I can still get a little bit of money for these, but I bought the wheels for like 200 bucks, so it's no big loss anyway. But, uh, or either way, did like the tires though. For decent driving summer tires, they're pretty good. Alright, still set to 75 from last time. All right, these ones are even thinner. These are 195s. All right, so I need another one that rotates in the same direction. That'll do. Let's compare these. I'm a little bit worried about these rubbing, especially because the car's been lowered. You can see that's actually a pretty decent difference. So let's see what this looks like. That does not feel like a lot of room in there, I'm going to be honest. Alright, let's go the rest of the way down, see if I've made a huge mistake. That's uh, pretty aggressive. I mean, it looks like there's clearance, as long as it doesn't rub in the turns.
Wow, that is some aggressive fitment. I honestly don't know how that's gonna do uh, going over bumps. I think it'll clear, but there might be some rubbing. I prefer not to have to roll the fenders, but we'll see what happens. Guess we ought to take it out for a drive, see how it does. This uh, goes up to, I believe, 125 pound-feet of torque, so I wouldn't use it to put the wheels back on because I want them to be torqued properly. But for taking them off, this definitely saved me a few minutes, and I'm sure going to be using it on other things in the car because most of the bolts, especially in this car, most of the nuts, they don't go over 125 pound-feet, so shouldn't be any issue. But uh, I'll leave a link to the Amazon listing for this if you want to get one. They're pretty awesome. I also got this uh, adapter that lets me put impact drive or impact sockets on it. Um, I think it came with the three tips too. So overall, first time I'm using it, I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely did the job. Started right up. The audio is probably going to be completely unintelligible in here. I think these are probably overinflated at the moment. Um, they feel like they might be overinflated, so we're going to head on over to the gas station and see. Alright, I got this uh, key blank online because I only have one key. And supposedly, with the spider, you can have a key blank cut to match your key and then you can program it yourself using this elaborate little pedals and door dance that I'm going to try. So, I'm at Home Depot, I'm going to see if they can cut this for me and then we'll see if it works. Alright, so here's my key blank. Um, I went to Home Depot, I just got it cut for the price of a generic Toyota door key and they nice guy even cut this key so I have an extra door one um, of course it doesn't have a chip so I can't use that as an actual ignition key but let's see if we can reprogram this following the instructions online and then if it works I will have paid $12 for a working chipped key all right first get in the car shut the doors press and release the brake and gas pedal once All right, let's see if it, let's see if it works. It works. 
There's the original Toyota key. I have reprogrammed a new key for the car. Or programmed a new key, I guess I didn't reprogram it, but that's awesome. 12 bucks, a lot cheaper than going to the dealer.